I finally got a road glide. Appa gets his airbending arrows today. God, Louisiana, these are some of the worst highways I have ever been on in my life. I'm alone by myself. I'm just gonna go explore the Blue Ridge Parkway, the Tail of the Dragon. Let's ride. Welcome to the Dragon and Deals Gap Motorcycle Resort. Oh my God. Look at how cool this is. <laughs> oh my God. Holy sh. Papa's doing great. <laughs> Hundred miles in the home stretch. Woo! 98 miles to go. I think I can do it. I think I'm gonna do my very first iron butt. Here we go. Here we go. 1,000 miles! <laughs> I did it! I did it! I did it! <laughs> Probably the most beautiful place I've ever been. <laughs> it just keeps going. Hurts. Ah! <laughs> Look at all the hail on the ground. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> I'm stopping. Ow. We are literally getting hailed on right now. Ah! <laughs> Look. Look at this. I had to stop. Ow. <laughs> Oh, it's stopping. Is that a custom paint job? It's actually a vinyl sticker. A vinyl sticker. Is that to be uh, like Appa from the Airbender? Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Thank I you. I love it. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs>
for sure that motherfucker is gonna send me off the cliff. <laughs> well, this isn't good. My check engine light just came on. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Here's the proof that we made it. I need a new helmet. <laughs> I'm staying in Uranus misery. We just got to camp and now it's officially time to set up my tent. Let's go. What do you think so far? Cool. Isn't it cool? my beautiful 2018 Harley Davidson Road Glide Special. In this video, I'm gonna do something I never ever anticipated doing, and it's talking about the regrets I have by buying this bike. I think I've determined that I will not keep Oppa forever. 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 Okay, well, this is Honestly, not how I wanted to start this video because I should have done this a long time ago, but unfortunately, I'm going to get my favorite boy memorialized on my body forever. Currently at the Hart and Huntington Tattoo Company here in Orlando, Florida. We're at Universal Studios and I'm getting my favorite boy tattooed on my body forever. I think that's officially my favorite tattoo I've ever gotten. And I have a lot of tattoos. Massive shout out to Hart and Huntington for getting me in very last minute for a tattoo appointment. Obviously, while I was in Florida, if you guys have not been paying attention, I picked up my brand new 2024 Harley Davidson Road Glide. And I knew the time was coming where I was gonna have to announce that I'm selling Appa. And that's exactly what this video is, you guys. I'm selling Appa. Yeah, it actually took me three full days to edit this video because I kept crying <laughs> re-watching the edit and all of the memories that Appa and I have together. But I'm just literally so excited and hopeful that he's gonna go to a new home. This motorcycle means the world to me and I genuinely want him to have the same love and affection that I gave him. But honestly, at the end of the day, whoever buys this motorcycle, it will be their bike. Um, I will have, you know, fully hands off. I don't want anyone to think that I still have any ownership on this motorcycle whatsoever. I would have never found him the love of my life if it weren't for somebody wanting to sell him used. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So if somebody buys this bike and they want to keep it off of, amazing. If not, that's okay. <laughs> So in this part of the video, I'm gonna go over some of the things that we have done with Appa. Once again, huge shout out to Hart and Huntington Tattoo Company for getting me this beautiful, absolutely drop dead gorgeous Appa. 
he's the love of my life and now I have him with me forever. So if you guys are in the Orlando area of Florida or check out some of their other locations, I will have a link down in the description. I did get this tattoo done at the Universal Studio City Walk over in Orlando, Florida. So if you guys are ever in Universal Studios, you don't even have to go into the parks. You just gotta go check out the City Walk and they have an amazing storefront. and. I think they're open every single day. All right, let's talk about the bike. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of start from the front. Obviously we have his arrow. Um, that is a vinyl sticker. I have had that on the motorcycle for a little over three years and there's only a little tiny corner that might potentially be peeling up. I never had any issues with it. It has never gone any further than that, but this, arrow is on there so good huge shout out to the tint lab over in columbus ohio for hooking me up with his arrows we also have one on his rear end so he has one down there on his fender as well so starting back up from the front the bike did come i bought it used with progressive suspension front suspension in the front and rear we'll talk about the rear suspension later it has been upgraded to the dominion bronze wheels from harley davidson it does have the engine guards and comes with the highway pegs. Of course, I have to mention the Clockworks windshield. This is the second Clockworks windshield I've put on this motorcycle and it is worth every single penny. This also comes with the bike. Everything you see on the bike comes with the bike, not added. <laughs> I personally left the stock floorboards and the stock brake pedal. I'm five foot seven. I have a 31 inch inseam and I thought these floorboards and brake pedals were by far the most comfortable out of all of the bikes I have ridden. We also have the Dominion package. We got the camshaft cover, all of the little bits and pieces just to add to the bronze of Appa being white and bronze. Of course, we move up here and we have these 16 inch ape hangers on the bike. These are a relatively new addition, less than six months old. And the bike does come with heated grips. Stock mirrors, these are the best mirrors for visibility. I love my mirrors. Obviously we have the analog gauge. Everything is stock up front there. And then this beautiful baby, it's a little wet right now because of the, it's raining, but this is the Saddleman Road Sofa. So this is a gel inserted seat. It is nice and wide, but no wider than the frame. So my little narrow hips have put thousands and thousands and thousands of miles on the seat and it's excellent. It also has the engine guards for, or, I'm sorry, the saddlebag guards back here because we don't want to tip over and mess up these beautiful bags. The exhaust does have a, well, okay, let's talk about the camshaft first. We have an SNS 475 cam in the motorcycle. Um, we have a cat delete as well as a new header pipe and then the Reinhardt slip-on exhaust. So the bike sounds fantastic. It does come with a luggage rack as well as a King Tour Pack and lowers. I don't have those on the bike right now, but that will come with the purchase of this motorcycle. We have the Screamin' Eagle Olin's piggyback adjustable rear suspension. Um, the suspension on this has been a freaking game changer. This bike is so comfortable to ride. I have had every single 5,000 service interval done at Faro Harley Davidson. I actually have never even had this bike serviced except for adding some mods at the Blockhead Garage. We didn't do a service there. We just added some modifications, but every service is documented at Faro Harley Davidson. I have never missed a service date. He hasn't even rolled over. 45,000 miles yet. I thought I had 46,000 on him. I don't know where that number came from, but 43,000 miles and every single service has been done by a serviceable dealer, Pharaoh Harley Davidson, uh, mostly at their east, east location for sure. I did forget to mention it does have a brand new Screaming Eagle clutch in it. I do believe the tires have just under a year on them. So the tires are pretty much brand new as well. A couple thousand miles on those. Um, let's go ahead, put the camera, put this camera away, hop on the motorcycle, even though it's raining. I want to take you guys for a ride. Alrighty, let's go for a quick little rainy ride, but I wanted you to hear what he sounds like starting up. The odometer has 43,476 miles. You know, it wouldn't really be a proper video announcing that I'm selling my motorcycle without riding in the rain, because when I bought this bike, the previous owner had mentioned that it had never been ridden in the rain. The day I picked it up from Pharaoh Harley-Davidson and rode it home, I had to ride in the rain. <laughs> so, uh, I guess 
I could go ahead and lie and say this bike has never seen rain, but I would, like, it's literally raining on you guys right now. I'm so sorry. I hope the camera quality is clear. But yeah, I just, every single time I hop on this bike now, after riding the new 24s, it, it I, can't, I don't even know how to explain you guys. The weight is so comparable. It shouldn't feel that much of a difference, but it does. Hopping back on this bike, feels absolutely alien to me and we have traveled the country together this bike and I but now after riding the new 24s it just feels like so natural so like every single thing I said in that video is lost the entire I went on an entire ride um GoPro for sale also if anyone wants it I'm so tired of that damn camera <laughs> I need to go ahead and tell you the things I told you in that video that are now lost forever. I'll go ahead and start with the meaning of the tattoo. I realized while editing this video that I didn't really explain it well. Um, in Avatar The Last Airbender, Appa is the spirit animal and the spirit guide to Avatar Aang. <laughs> it's very nerdy, but um, he is Aang's steed his protector all of these things his best friend and that's exactly how i have felt about this motorcycle again i did get very emotional like editing and re-watching this video but the tattoo is appa in the tarot card because it's just kind of the um you know the symbol for past present future stuff like that manifestation and the name of the card is the guide and that's exactly how i feel about my motorcycle is appa has guided me on this new path this new trajectory and he's literally opened my horizons of not only motorcycling but myself as a woman i'm not the same person i was before i bought that motorcycle so that's kind of what the tattoo represents is just like my guide and the love that i have for this bike let's talk a little bit more about the motorcycle i can 100% tell you i'm making the right decision even just filming that quick little video for you guys yesterday and taking him out on a ride it is a night and day difference on how the older generation motorcycles rode compared to the new bikes and i say that with every bit of i don't know i guess bias because i've been feeling for a while that you know the older style harley davidson's the amount of work you had to put into them to make them comfortable to ride is it's infuriating actually and the new motorcycles i could ride this new bike stock forever and i think i'd still be perfectly fine that's how well they paid attention to riding styles and what people were modifying on their bikes so just knowing that i was hopping on my motorcycle again and it wasn't what I wanted. It was heavy. It was weird. It was not as effortless, I guess you could say. It's just not as effortless as the new bikes are. And that's not to say that he still wasn't perfect because I love him and I will still ride him. Uh, I don't have to sell this motorcycle. So that's where I guess I can get into the fact of what he is, what I'm selling him for, and the reasons I'm selling him for what I'm selling him for, basically. So he is a 2018 Harley-Davidson Road Glide Special. He does have 43,000 miles. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, he has every single service record. I've never missed a service. I've never done my own service or had a little Joe Schmo garage. Not to say that those aren't the best, but I just, I have proof of every single service. And um, I am selling him for $23,000. I have done research on what these bikes are costing you know 2018 similar mileage zero mods these are stock motorcycles still selling for what they're selling for and it's anywhere from nineteen thousand to twenty five thousand dollars and so i'm not trying to be a millionaire by selling this bike i'm just wanting him to go to a good home i guess that's kind of why I'm, I'm adding that that price point but whoever gets this motorcycle i hope you guys are prepared he is a famous bike. He has millions of views online and I have a lot of people tell me that they saw my motorcycle at bike nights and even in like in Florida, not even Ohio bike nights, but they would get online and Google Appa Harley Davidson and my channel and my bike would pop up. So I just hope you're prepared, whoever gets Appa's. <laughs> He's a famous bike and um, I'm very excited to see the adventures that he continues to have with his new owner. So. That is the listing price. If you guys are interested, please, serious inquiries only. I genuinely do not have the time 
to skim through every single email for people who are gonna tell me that he's worth this or I should raffle him or blah blah blah. Like if you want to buy this bike, please email me at info.her2wheels at gmail.com. I will have that typed down in the description below. I will have it, you know, it's up here. So if you are interested, $23,000 US dollars, title in hand, I will not ship, you have to come pick him up. Um, and he's, he's for sale. This is really emotional for me. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the adventures together. He's still in my garage. Like I, I still have insurance on him. I can still take him on road trips. So 43,000 miles is as of today, which is April 11th. <laughs> and yeah, I just, if you have any more questions about him, please leave a comment down below. I don't know uh, if I listed off every single thing on the mods list, but he's very, very stock, very beautiful. Um, the only upgraded parts we put on him were specifically for comfort, visibility, or performance parts. So not a lot has been added to this bike because he was perfect the way he was. I'm gonna miss him. Thank you guys so much for watching and until my next one, you be good and I'll see you later.